Hello there, this is Retro Nick with a 2012 tour of Retro Station in Sutton Coldfield in the West Midlands in the UK. Uh, this is a gaming retro shop uh, which I go to quite frequently and I just thought I'd sh share it with you for anyone who may be interested in popping down or you live close by. Now this is the shop itself, as you can see it's got a lot of stuff and here's Gary, uh, my co-host for the Tuning Gaming Podcast, quick little uh, plug in there, and obviously we tried to get uh, Booth Babe to show off the games, but we couldn't find one at short notice, so Gaz had to step in. But anyway, we can see um, we've got a lot of games in the corner, we have PlayStation 1 games, all reasonably priced, um, more or less the common titles, but definitely worth looking through if there's any titles you're missing or any games you want. Further down we have some Sega Dreamcast games, two of the great titles here, can't go wrong. Then we start with the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, a ton of stuff all in the box. Uh, Sega Saturn stuff and the bottom, uh, boxed N64 games in the corner, Sega Master System and more Sega Saturn stuff. And we go up slightly and we see uh, PC Engine which you don't see very often in the UK and he's got a ton of stuff behind the counter strategy guide, uh, Neo Geo AES carts accessories, controllers, you name it anything you're looking for he's bound to have or if he doesn't have it he's about bound to have it in sooner and he's always searching through games making sure it's all organised very good at that and tons of games at the side including figurines, toys and here's some more box games in the corner Next we have some Game Boy Advance games in the display cabinet in the front, either £4 each or 3 for £10, which is a pretty good deal, especially if there's one you're missing. Uh, tons of loose uh, Sega Game Gear games. Let me start off with the Super Nintendo games, all reasonably priced, some of the more rare titles or uh, even common titles, but often if there's a game you're looking for, he usually has it or if it doesn't, you can usually try and find it for a good deal and then set it on to you for a good price, so it's always worth checking back back of the store it's that, you can just tell all, all the great titles it's got uh, tons of loose Game Boy games, original Game Boy and Game Boy Colors uh, so got a pile of them and as we see here, he's busy cleaning any new games he has in stock to make sure they're pristine condition and ready to sell to the consumers of the shop. So back, back to the games anyway, uh, tons of titles there and then we come to loose N64 games and you've got a ton here as well from the common titles to the more sought after titles but, but still worth, worth having a look you can just spend spend literally hours looking looking at this stuff, but you usually only sp spend maximum of an hour down the shop. And here is some box N64 games and a couple of Super Nintendo box games. So of often have some of those flying around. At the top here, we have some more Mega Drive games. I'll show show you some more in a minute. Here's some PlayStation 2 games. Ton of great titles to choose from from common to more source after but usually some great great games you can pick up for a good really reasonable price scrolling down now we start off with the PSP games and uh, PSP uh, UMD movies which probably aren't so popular but uh, worth picking up there's a ton of um, Mega Drive games alongside because he has so much stuff in at the moment it's just un unbelievable I'm sure, sure he'll run out of room eventually but ho hopefully if any, anyone's interested in popping down to the store uh, it's definitely worth checking out and buying some great games from so we start off um, more Master System games and then uh, Nintendo GameCube games so available to look at and then we start from the more modern titles like the Xbox and 360 and the Wii and some more original, original Xbox games and now we take a look at the Mega Drive games this is at the front of the counter so you can see all of them are reasonably organized so you can just pull, pull them out and take a look you have to get some classic titles and, and 
co common titles, uncommon titles, you, you name it, you can find all sorts behind there. Splatterhouse 2, or a game I, I bought from uh, Retro Station myself, so definitely some worthwhile titles here if you're a Mega Drive fan, such as X-File 278, Art Marcus on YouTube. A little quick plug for you there, mate. And yep, you certainly worth looking through every once in a while. Oh, so at the front of the stop, stop, there's a spinning stand which you can look through for the more modern PS3 titles. So if you're not that into uh, retro games, you can always look through this as well as the Xbox and the Wii games that Craig has. Uh, to turn behind them, so you can have a look through, see if there's any modern titles, and he often does fair prices depending on the value of the game at the time. But usually, you can uh, never go wrong with a good deal here for some modern PS3 games. Now we take a look at the top of the shop. All the sh shelves. You have the menacer there. You have accessories, uh, box consoles, uh, Castlevania Bloodlines on the Mega Drive. Uh, Sega Mega CDs, um, more of the rare, rarer N64 games. Uh, you have games usually playing on the TV. Uh, Spyro, Enter the Dragonfly, that was. Uh, box controllers, uh, box consoles, uh, two different versions of a Sega Saturn, uh, Japanese box Sega Saturn, uh, box accessories, IntelliVoice voice synthesis module for the IntelliVision. And just a ton of great stuff from Mega CD. And next we have a look out around the shop in the in the glass cabinets. You can see there's a lot of stuff here. You can put, again pause this video at any any point because I'm this probably I'm gonna I can't talk about all this stuff in one video. But yep, you can definitely see the more rare titles, the imports, and there's a collection of games which you can't uh, sh shelve or hold on the counter. So, yep, you get tons of games. You've got a few CDI games there, a few 3DO games, the figures of Final Fantasy characters, uh, boxed NES games, uh, modern accessories for the Xbox as well, and totally great stuff. Here we have some more ra rarer PlayStation 1 games, a few Atari games, and here's a pile of Neo Geo Pocket games. Craig gets a lot of Neo Geo related items in. Oh, uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga for the Sega Saturn. Pretty damn rare and pretty sought after. And down here we have more PlayStation 1 games, uh, DS Lite there, a ton of Atari games for the 2600 and some for the 7800. And a few loose uh, Mega Drive games in, in the cabinet as well. Animaniacs Boxed for the Super Nintendo. Uh, loose uh, Master System games and just loose cartridges and a few boxed uh, Game Boy games. There's a jewellery section. Some of it's game related and some of it's not. So if you have a girlfriend who's into this, then pop down and pick up some jewellery for her. But for me personally, it's not my sort of thing, so I'll pass on that. As tempted as I am. Uh, next we have Intervision box games. Uh, Hue cards for the um, PC Engine. Uh, the Japanese... TurboGrafx-16, definitely a ton of stuff, and on the sides you get um, Neo Geo CD games in the case, oh, so we have NES games, all pa PAL in this uh, cabinet here, further down we have some more boxed uh, make Master System games, and a couple of Super Famicom games, uh, Japanese uh, Super Nintendo games, and get some more stuff here, so Again, always worth uh, check, checking that registration every now and again. Now this is a Japanese import case. Uh, we have some Japanese Game Boy games, uh, Super Famicom games, a ton of great titles to choose from, Hue cards, um, PC Engine CD games, uh, just a, a ton of Japanese stuff. So if you're an import uh, collector, it's definitely worth popping down. And you also have uh, adapters to play these games if you're not that big into imports. But there yeah, you've got some Japanese Sega Saturn games. And further up, more, more of them. And even a Japanese Virtual Boy game. So just tons of stuff you can f find here. So 
on on to the last glass display cabinet. This is the the American Imports uh, NTSC Super Nintendo games. I, I prefer these over the pa PAL and Super Nintendo cartridges myself. Uh, the NES games are all NTSC again. If you're willing to modify your NES to play these games, it's definitely worth considering. Or you can even import uh, NTSC NES console. And obviously down here you got some more NTC N64 games and some box games. So yep, ton of stuff here to look at. Well that's it concludes our tour. Thank you Craig and thank you Gaz for helping out. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Craig's a great friend of mine and if you just mention my name, Rich Nick, I'm sure he'll point you in the right direction with some great deals. So thanks again and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.